Well, hello again, you Obama sheep. More bullshit from the Obama administration. You know, we keep pumping millions into the TSA, but now Obama's going to slash other programs that would actually keep uh, airlines safe from takeover, because they're going to take over the planes again, right? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and read before I start to rant. The Obama administration budget proposes cutting more than half of the funding for a program that trains airline pilots to wield guns in the event of a terrorist takeover. The program is voluntary and consists of an intensive eight-day training course and a reoccurring training every six months. Thousands of U.S. airline pilots have been trained to carry weapons as a final line of defense against terrorism. The Obama administration uh, doesn't like that, evidently. Following the 9-11 attacks, thousands of U.S. Air airline pilots have been trained to carry weapons as a final line of defense against terrorism in the Federal Flight Deck Officer Program. The program is ent entirely voluntary and can consist of an intensive eight-day training course, reoccurring -train, re training course every six months. The exact number of federal fr flight deck officers is classified, but the Philadelphia Inquirer reports that in 2009, a TSA Security Administration spokesman said there was an estimated 12,000 gun-toting pilots and that the program was set to expand. The president's latest budget would reduce the program budget from $25 million to Twelve and a half million. In addition, the White House has called for slashing thirty-six and a half million from the Federal Air Marshal Service program budget, nine uh, hundred and twenty-nine point six million dollar budget. Testifying before the House Subcommittee on Homeland Security Appropriation, TSA head John Pistole said that the money spent on the Federal Flight Deck Officer program was needed for more critical security programs probably more naked body scanners or something. Pistole explained that over the past decade, reinforced cockpit doors, screening all airline passengers before they board, and heightened security awareness have greatly lowered the risk of unauthorized cockpit access and represent a comprehensive and redundant risk mitigation strategy that begins before passengers board the aircraft. I'm going to stop right there because I've had enough of the bullshit, okay? I'll put you the link below. You can read the whole thing. This is how I see it. This fucking TSA... You know, molesting grandma, tormenting our children, touching our wives' boobies, uh, all these horrible, stealing our iPods and other gadgets, these maniacal sons of bitches, okay? Let me tell you something. They haven't caught one terrorist. Not one. Okay, so they've done nothing to keep us safe. Uh, oh, I know, you Obama sheep. Well, it's because they're there. The terrorists haven't tried. Bullshit. Bullshit. Okay? Another point, if people on the plane knew that the pilot was carrying a gun and that there could be other officers on the plane, they're going to be less likely, even if they did get on the plane, to try something. And if they did get through, which, by the way, it has just been proven that it's very easy to get through the TSA scanners with anything you want, okay? That information's out there. Google it. It's just released recently. Uh, John Corbett, actually. Google John Corbett, see what you come up with, see how you like that. This is fucking bullshit, okay? What they're doing is taking the authority away from our offices of the law because they're going to be cutting the marshals, okay? And they're going to stop training the pilots. That takes the control away from the people and puts it in the hands of the TSA. It gives them even more power, little by little by little. You're going to wake up one of these mornings with a grain bucket in your face inside of a fucking stockade fence. Get this bastard out of office before he ruins this country completely.